this year, Thailand has seen a striking turnaround in its laws on illegal drugs. Until recently, the kingdom's harsh penalties would see hundreds of foreigners locked up on long sentences. But now the government has completely legalised the use of marijuana, released thousands of prisoners and, as our Southeast Asia correspondent Jonathan Head reports, sparked off a boom in weed-related businesses. The cannabis craze is sweeping Thailand. See how beautiful it is? This is the country's health minister, the architect of what's now one of the most liberal marijuana regimes anywhere in the world. Being cheered by enthusiastic locals who hope that this green gold will bring them new wealth. It is an astonishing turnaround for a country that still has some of the toughest punishments for drug use. We have already destigmatized these products from being uh, narcotic. People, when they have access to this cannabis industry, they will not go to the dark side. They will only focus on how to make a better living. Already, cannabis is being offered in a mind-blowing variety of forms. The official view is that this should all be for medical or therapeutic purposes. That's what the government is promoting to tourists. They want people coming to Thailand to get well, not high. In practice, though, the new law makes pretty much anything from the marijuana plant, however potent, legal. I am happy, really happy. Now villagers like us can grow it legally. We no longer have to hide. Even what's perhaps Thailand's most famous product, its cooking, has been caught up in the craze. It's actually an old tradition here of putting marijuana into quite a few recipes, including the dishes in front of me here, which the government would like to tap into as it pursues its goal of turning Thailand into a marijuana hub. But can it do that without an explosion in recreational use, something the government doesn't want to happen? Any doubt that it can? So what happens in here, Nan? We're mostly focusing on CBD flower strain, so... We're Nan Chitchop is a marijuana enthusiast. Super exciting. Today is such a big win, I think, for, yeah. you know, all stoners in Thailand. <laughs> so She's also the daughter of a powerful local politician who's backing cannabis cultivation in this poor rural region of Thailand. Nan plans to help local farmers with her know-how. She's not convinced that the government's focus on medical use is realistic. We all know from studying, like, you know, other markets that recreational is where the money's at. So I think this is a good step towards that if we're really um, thinking of this as an actual economic crop. Even though the government says it's strictly for medical purposes, it's not for recreational. I hope that they see the potential, like, economics of it, and hopefully that will aid with the legalization of, like, recreational use. This really feels like a new age for Thailand. Just a month ago, possessing this much marijuana might have got you 15 years in jail. Today, anyone can cash in on the weed bonanza and, with just a few restrictions, enjoy consuming it too. Jonathan Head, BBC News, Buriram, Thailand.